Local and federal investigators are looking to the cause of a deadly mobile home fire. It happened near Sand Springs overnight. Two News anchor Aaron Christie spoke with people close to the victims about what happened. Neighbors living nearby told us they heard several loud explosions, including the victim's ex-husband who happened to live next door. The fire started around 11 o'clock at the mobile home near 151st West Avenue and 61st in Sand Springs. A 59-year-old woman died in the fire. Her 38-year-old son and his 36-year-old girlfriend made it out but are hospitalized with burns. Their conditions are unclear. The woman's ex-husband didn't want to go on camera but said she had been on oxygen and investigators confirmed there were several bottles of oxygen inside which likely fueled the fire. The fire marshal told me it is still considered under investigation, but they don't believe any crime was committed at this time. I also talked with the landlord, C.L. Reed, who showed up when we were there. He's known the victim and her family for 20 years and says she was a nice woman, and he's dealing with a property loss of his own. We tried to insure it, but they say, no, it's too old. And so, well, you know, I'll just go as long as I can and and then we will do something different. Authorities say because the victim is Native American, federal investigators arrived on scene. The Sand Springs Fire Department, as well as the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms are looking into how the fire started. In Sand Springs, Aaron Christie, 2 News, Oklahoma.